Hi there, crazy chickens! Welcome to my devlog. So, I'm moving from Unreal to Godot here, and I won't lie, it's not easy for me. The first simple task I decided to take on is to make a fade in and out component like this one. This is a very useful thing, I will need such component literally in every of my games. The thing that amazes me about Godot is that I can write components separately and then add it to any of my projects. For example, if I create a script here, let's give it a class name, variable for fade image, variable for speed fade in and fade out, and I want to make sure that the image is visible by all means. Now I create the animation with the twin, it's going to play as soon as I launch the game, and I need to create a function that takes the name of the next level but goes to it only after the fade out animation has played. Create the animation with the twin again, create a timer, add it as a child, give it a wait time, make sure it plays once, start it and connect him out to the function which changes the scene. Here it is. Done! Let's try this out. I'll add this component to the scene, make an image for it And when we press the button, we need to call next level function. So, what is so convenient in this particular method? Usually, you need to create the animation player, create animation, add a track. You know what? I'll stop right here, you know the drill. But now you can just save this component and use it in any of your games. You may never program fade in and out component again, ever. The only thing this component needs is some control object, like color rect or texture rect. And actually I could make it in code too. I can create color rect as a child, or generate PNG, but I think it's overcomplicate things and what if I want to use image with some pattern? So, I think this is the most universal option. How fabulous is this? If you're not alone in the team, you can work on your components separately in different projects and then just add them to the game without any of problems. By the way, I'm in love with these beautiful comments that will be shown in the inspector. It makes this component even more independent. So, the first steps to feel at home in Godot have been taken. And so far it's quite cozy here, <laughs> but it's not easy. <laughs> it's not for me. Um, okay. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you agree that it's a cool feature. Any comment is appreciated. Don't hate me for my accent. Love games, make games, games will defeat violence.